Welcome to the seventh tutorial of the series. In this uh, video, we will learn how to calculate difference between dates and uh, look at different date formats. So let's get started. Use clinical system database. Select from table operation and the fields we are choosing is operation date let's see what the results are and then in this tutorial we will use a few functions the very first one is convert first of all we need to look uh, how many uh, characters we are, we need uh, to view in the date format so we are going to use char let's see we'll say number eight and then the name of the field operation date and three when the, when we run this query you will see it is showing eight characters from operation date 16th of July 93 in the first first one and so on what if we want to view uh, the century as well in that case we do convert char then we need 10 characters because two for the date two for the month and four for the year so we need 10 characters and the name of the field is operation date and for this the code is 103 these are the codes listed on uh, Microsoft website SQL Server website you can go and uh, try yourself through help pages if we run this query now as you can see with eight characters you can see date month and year and with 10 characters you can also see uh, century as well 16th, 16th of July 1993 so this is one of the functions we use uh, to calculate dates uh, next one we are going to do is first of all delete these and the function we are going to use as you can see from IntelliSense the different functions date add date diff date name we are going to use date name function and week day operator in there operation date as we give alias to this field as day so when we run this it is showing the day of the week date name is the function which displays uh, according to this operator whether you want to view the day month year or day of the week so in this one we use day of the week let's try for the day date name now we'll try with day we'll use double d operation date and we give this alias as date now we run the query and see the results now it's showing 16th which is the 16th day from the date next if we want to look at name of the month we, we can do mm for month and name of the field as month and then finally we can also view the year from the date operation date as 
Yeah. So when we run this query, when we run this query, you can see it displaying day of the week, date, month, and year. Now in the next section, we are going to use another function. Let's delete this and that is now we are going to calculate the difference between two dates the function we use for that purpose is called date diff i think we didn't put the comma in that's why our intelligence isn't working date diff and parameters for this uh first of all you need to put like what do you want to view in days months or year we i'm putting in days now I'm going to make a little change in here. For example, if the patient is referred for a procedure, so if we need to know how many days it took for the patient from refer date to procedure date, so in in this query we'll calculate that. So let's put referral date as well for our it will be easy to view uh, the difference. So I'm going to put referral there, there and the difference is from operation date so we can call it referral to treatment days so when I run this you can see the difference this is the operation date that's the referral date and this is the difference referral to treatment days which is calculates as 31 days what if we want to know the different uh, the date difference between when the operation was done and uh, from today's date for that purpose we are going to use two functions. First of all, we'll you to calculate. We'll use the diff, and uh, because it's been few years since the operation was performed, so we'll calculate in years. Year operation date, and then for today's date, there is another function which is called get date as we can call it treatment age so if I run this you can see it's been 23 years since this operation was performed this 9 years 11 years and this is just recently last year now we will use another function called date add to find out exact age let's put date add and then we are going to find out how many years we are adding to our total age which we just calculated control C and control V and then comma operation date if we run this it will display us the exact date when, when the procedure was performed it was performed on 16th of July 1993 but we are adding 23 years into this date and it is, comes up with 16th of July 2016 you can also call as like birthday of uh, this procedure and uh, we give it an uh, alias as exact date of procedure total years and then we move on to we'll write a case statement because if we look at this it is 16th of July 2016 supposed to be 23 years but we are not uh, in month of July yet 
so in this supposed to be 22 years this is supposed to be 13 years and uh, because we are in month of February so 18th this uh, 23rd of Jan has already passed so 18 calculated correctly but these dates uh, these years are not uh, the correct reflection of uh, the calculation so for that purpose we are going to use a case statement when this field control C control V is greater than today's date so today's date is get date function so what we are saying is if this date this field which is exact date of uh, procedure to year date this one is greater than today's date because there's no space I'm putting uh, into second line then display us this is the total age calculation total age minus one else total age and then we end the case statement like this as we call it as exact age so when I run this as we can see in the result where the month is hasn't passed yet uh, is displaying a year less because of this case statement taking a year uh, off from the total age but where the month has passed for example 23rd of Jan this is showing 18 years similar to the calculation we did in here total age but where the month for example this one 15th of December 16 so this procedure was performed on uh, 15th of December 2015 but in our total age calculation it is showing one year but as we know it's only been three months since this procedure was performed so it, it's not a complete year so for that reason it's showing as zero I hope you enjoyed this video please post your comments and feedback there are more videos available to watch and learn from so please don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next tutorial.